Hey guys, video game. I'm gonna be reviewing a game called Slime Rancher, which is actually one of my favorite PC games, actually of all time. Well, of all time, I really only have a few PC games that I've actually played, and the rest are basically all just internet. So I don't really consider them just PC because they can get on from multiple devices. But anyway, Slime Rancher it's a fun little game, and basically it's like you're this explorer on uh, another world and you're trying to go around and collect slimes and kind of create your own slime farm in a way I don't know if farms the right word slime slime zoo is probably a better word a slime zoo without visitors yeah that's probably a better word so you just you go around and you collect a bunch of slimes and you just bring them back to your ranch and you just make a big zoo out of them and there's actually a trailer here for a new update which I haven't heard about. So let's actually see what this is. Ancient Ruins, version 0.50. Or 0.5.0. Oh, cool. Quantum slimes. Oh, you dudes are teleporty. Echoes. Oh, so it's like, like little decorations in, that, in the game. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's cool. That I like. Oh, awesome. I kind of want to get that update now. But yeah, Slime Manager is on Steam. It's on a Direct, which I think is just your laptop or whatever runs, what was it? Whatever runs Mac or Linux. Or you can get it for Xbox. And Xbox is actually, I think the Xbox version is one of the best. I think it goes Steam, Xbox, and then Direct. And then here's a little description for the game. It's, Slime Rancher is the tale of Beatrix LeBlue, a plucky young rancher who sets out for life a thousand light years away from the Earth on the far, far range, where she tries her hand at making a living, wrangling slimes. With a can-do attitude, plenty of grit, and her trusty backpack, Beatrix attempts to stake claim and amass a fortune and avoid the continual peril that looms from rolling, jiggling avalanche of slimes around every corner. Yeah, so, if you're not careful, you can actually die in the game. But not die, but you die, and then you respawn back at your farm. But the slimes actually do have a way of fighting back against you. So it is kind of hard to maintain the slimes, because they need food and all that. And it's also kind of hard to catch the slimes, because they hurt you pretty much all the time. Especially the tars. And the tars are basically what happens when a slime combination eats a plort that isn't part of that combination. So like if a pink tabby ate a rock plort, it would turn into a tar. But anyway, so there's a few mechanics of the game. There's like there's feeding the slimes, obviously. There's putting them in the ranches, and then there's also collecting their plorts, which is the main money maker in the game, which lets you upgrade your gun and your ranch and all that and make better things for your crowds. Like, you can make a music box to keep your slime calm, you can make an auto feeder, you can make a plort collector, and you can make, like, a high walls and air net, which is actually the most useful part, because high walls and air net keeps your slimes in the pens, which a lot of the time they don't want to do. But we got the features down here, which is you can use your backpack to actually pick up anything you see, so, like, food, um, slimes... Plorts, anything you see, you can basically pick up with your backpack unless it's too big. And the world, I think there's actually like, including that ancient world, there's like six areas to the slime world, I think. And yeah, there's actually, I don't think there's a limit to the amount of slimes. So there's just like endless slimes everywhere. And there's like eight types of them, I think. And you can create new slimes using slime science and profit, which I think means. You just feed your slime a plort, and you turn it into a different slime, and that was kind of their little hint on how you do that. And then it says, push your slime experience too far, and you perish. So, like, if you make a tar thing, and tars actually eat every other kind of slime. Tars don't like the other slimes. They eat everything they see, and they're just basically big bullies. But yeah, Slime Rancher is actually a really fun game. It's like one of those little games where it's just like a fun time waster. It's like a fun, you get to sit down and you just run around a land and you just do whatever you want to be. And 
I love it, honestly. Slime Rancher, in my opinion, gets a 4 out of 5. I mean, there is a little bit more they could do, like some of the upgrades for the stuff that's on your player, like the jetpack could get a little better, because the jetpack doesn't exactly have much up, as you would think. It goes a little up, stays that way, slides down, and then goes up again, but it runs out of energy almost before you really actually gain any significant height. So it's basically more of a distance tool than a height tool, and basically the height tool is kind of what you need with a jetpack. Also, the TARS seem to kind of pop up really easily now, that the TARS seem to pop up a lot more than they used to back when the game was first announced, and it's like, oh, well, we're just going to make a random TAR there. And it's like, you got to almost have water on hand at all times to kind of stop them. But again, it is a really fun game. It's really creative. The slimes are really cute and adorable. Like, I mean, look at this little green dude over here. Look at the little green dude. I mean, look at that. That's called a... If I can remember right. I think it's called a jumbo slime. And what they are is basically they're giant versions of one type of slime. And you feed it, then it explodes and gives you things. So that kind of slime is honestly not really seen that much. It's like a little rare feature that you find. And the only slime that I would say is the hardest to find is them and the gold slime. But I've actually seen the gold slime three times and never actually managed to catch it. So I think it's kind of glitching out because every time I try to suck it up with the that gun, the gold slime just disappears and I actually can't catch it at all. So maybe there's like a glitch where you can't catch the gold slime. I don't know. But anyway, Slime Rancher is definitely a 4 out of 5 in my book. Um, be, like I said before, I said this in another review, I think, before, very few games actually get a 5 out of 5 in my book, and very few movies actually do get a 5 out of 5, too. But anyway, I'm going to leave this review here. I'll leave a link down in the description for you to get Slime Rancher on your own. Well, actually, if it's clear enough on SmartPix, so you can actually see the link right now, because it's literally the name of the game. But anyway... I'm leaving this video here. If you guys liked it, you can slap the like button as always, and I will see you guys later.